just know this brother because we have known him all these years. The other thing, and we share uh, birthdays. <laughs> so, you know, very good brother. I'm going to come back and stop and talk to him. Today he was at a, a memorial service for his partner who passed away a couple months ago. Uh, real sad occasion that, uh, but we all, you know, like crossed that line uh, eventually. Uh, we don't stay on this side of the veil. But uh, in terms of your natural herbs and remedies that go all the way back to what um, the Catholic Church used to prosecute people for, they called them witch doctors because they know what herbs, natural herbs to get out of nature to heal you and, and what, you know, for whatever illnesses you might have. They know what herbs they could get and make a potion to put on wounds and things, you know, to heal it without it getting infected. You know, there was a brother that goes back, one of the oldest ones in this country was a brother named Jonathan Davis out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And uh, uh, what he was famous for, he was a herbal doctor and he taught a whole lot of people, you know, like how to use products from nature to cure themselves from what ailed them as opposed to, I mean, back in the 1860s, there were no drug stores with these pills and all these other things that you get today. Uh, they use nature because everything that man needs to cure himself is provided for by Mother Earth herself. You know, like in the trichology that's been used by the American pharmacological, pharmacological industry is they take these same herbs and synthesize out of them the products, mix them with chalk and make a pill and we'll sell it to you. See, if you knew what herbs to get cure yourself, you could go out to nature and pick those plants, pick those leaves and grow some of them yourself and could save yourself a whole lot of money. But you know, like this is what I call the McDonald's generation, where people want it now and they just want to go on with the bill, put it on the counter, give me the pill that'll cure me right away. As opposed to learning the, the uh, natural processes that our ancestors knew. I mean, going all the way back to the Nile Valley, they talked about the science of alchemy. Well, alchemy today means transforming base metals and changing them. But in the old days, it meant transforming everything from its natural state to another state. And out of the word alchemy comes the science, what we know today as chemistry, all right, which is taught in schools and what have you. But there are two types of chemistry. There's chemistry, which deals with what we call inorganic chemicals, and then there's biological chemistry. That is those things, those compounds in plants that uh, you can extract that are useful for curing your body. And again, the foundation and basis of all of this are stores like this from the Blue Nile, again, which is Washington, D.C.'s oldest uh, herbal store and the African-American community's oldest uh, herbal store here in the city. Very proud of, of this store and having known this brother. Uh, an asset to the African-American community. Yeah, this brother has been teaching people how to cure themselves using products straight from nature for over 40 years. The leaves, the herbal and things that he has in this store, again, are the foundation for what pharma ph pharmacies use, pharmacological companies use, to create the pills that they sell you to solve some of your health issues. From the salves that you use to cure some of the uh, skin diseases that you might have. Again, it all starts with using plants from nature. And plants, roots, and, and uh, bi the biology of the plant world uh, has been a science for black people for literally 10,000 years. It's not new to us. What's new to us is being put into this strange environment that we've been in here since the 1600s. And the result is, you know, like having to get these products from these capitalists, you know, like in, in these strange forms. But this form is just as powerful as any other form that you can get. What you were talking about, Sabi? Yeah, and doc, yeah, when Dr. Sabi was here in Washington, D.C., I first met Sabi, I guess, 1973. When he, wanted, when he first came to Washington, D.C., he was hanging out at the warehouse. But this is where he came to get some of his herbs for people that he was treating here in the Washington, D.C. area. And I know that he, uh, I understand that he and another brother has a new video out 
on natural healing and natural medicine. Again, uh, the idea and the subject matter that he's talking about is absolutely real. That the secret to curing the human body all comes from natural products and this is the natural product store for the African American community here in the District of Columbia. Peace brother, how you doing? You know I had to come by and show you some love. Hey man, good thing. You doing all right. good? Yes sir, doing right. real good. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Um, there were, um, uh, he, here he comes now. This is Dr. Uh, Duku. Again, am I wrong about 40 years? You've been here in the business? I came in this building in 1974. Mm. Three years of strictly wholesale. Retail started in 1977. Next year is 40 years of retail. 40 years of retail. And this is the brother that first started me, family. I didn't know anything about herbals, stuff, remedies, until I came in this store probably about 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and him, uh, Duku and another brother by the name Kwaku has went on to the realm of the Agoon Goon Ashe to our hey. brother Kwaku but much respect to you Duku and I'm glad that you're still here brother you we love you, you. Mm -hmm. yeah belated happy birthday brother hey, <laughs> <laughs> we made another we made another